So this is a resource I've used over the last few years when creating map animations that's just incredibly useful. I absolutely love it. And it's from this nice gentleman called Andre who hails from Prague. He has a PhD in geography. Essentially what this is, it's a GitHub repository of historical base maps. And it says right here, a collection of geo-referenced boundaries of world countries and cultural regions. And these date back far. Trust me, it's far. If you scroll down, you have a whole description of the project and which goes into depth about how it was put together. They talk about the sources of where they pulled a lot of this information. Um, there's information about how you can contribute and there's a really great section about additional resources. So if you aren't finding the specific data or borders that you're looking for, you can always check these other sources. But let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go up to the top here. Now these are in the GeoJSON format. So if you click on the GeoJSON folder, you have pretty much all the data right here. You can see they're all in, but they're basically by these different years here as individual GeoJSON files, and they go all the way back. Well, here we have 8,000 BC, 123,000 BC, wow. Hey everyone, so if you're a hardcore map nerd like me, you're really going to want to check out Felt. So Felt is a browser-based web mapping tool that really is the best place to make maps on the internet. It's powerful enough for you GIS pros and easy enough for everyone else. And they're extra cool because they hired me late last year to run their YouTube channel. So if you like what you see here on my YouTube channel, be sure to head over to at Felt Maps on YouTube and subscribe, activate notifications, and check out all the cool stuff we're putting together over there. Come join the mapping revolution. So I'm gonna go grab 100 here, and then I'm just gonna click this button right here, which is download raw file. Now I can jump over to Adobe After Effects. I've got the GeoLayers 3 extension opened. Now, if you're just coming to this video and you have no reference, um, GeoLayers 3 is a premium extension for Adobe After Effects that lets you work with GeoData. Uh, so it is essentially going to allow me to import this GeoJSON file because you cannot work with GeoJSON natively um, by default in Adobe After Effects. So to bring this in, you click the plus icon and do import file. And I'll go grab this, double click it, and it's going to give me a feature collection here. And it's also going to show me a preview of all of the polygons that are associated with this feature collection. Now, not all of these features have a name. But if I grab one that does, and then I click right here, Feature Properties, one cool attribute that these come with is one called Border Precision, this Border Precision field right here. So it's gonna be one, two, or three. One being the least accurate. So if it's a border precision of one, you basically need to cross-reference and double check, and you might need to you know, blur those edges out or figure out a way, you, you just need to be aware that, that these borders might be overlapping or they might not be entirely accurate. Now, the repository has a border precision of three, meaning that it is international law, like recognized international law, that that border is precise. What I could do to draw something out, let's say I want to search the Roman Empire. I can grab the feature collection and then filter by the word Roman. And then there we go, we've got it right here. I'm gonna double click on it. And if I click on feature properties, this has a border precision of one. Now I can go up to layer styles, just select a solid color, and now I will draw out the Roman Empire. All right, very cool, I've drawn out the Roman Empire. There's another way to actually access this data, and that is by directly connecting the repository to the GeoLayers panel, so that you can then search all these GeoJSON datasets directly in the panel via the keyword search bar up here. So to do that, we first go and we copy this URL here. So we want to copy. So if we go back, let's go back to historical base maps, and we're going to copy this URL right here. Make sure there's nothing on the end of this. We want the end of this to be historical base maps. Otherwise, this will not work. Now we go back over to the GeoLayers panel, go into the panel menu, go to preferences, and then down here you have a feature search section. And so at the bottom of this, you can click on the plus icon right here. There's a drop down menu, select GitHub repository, and then paste your URL right in like this. Again, make sure this URL is exactly the same, otherwise this will not work. And then in this main section, type in the word master. Also, if you don't do that, it will not work. Click apply. And now in this search bar, if I type in 100, 
and scroll down, you can now see here is that world 100 GeoJSON, which is very, very cool. It's also showing us a bunch of others. So um, this is the way I was working with it before, and I found that on a project-to-project -project basis, usually you're focusing on one particular time period or one map, so you only usually only need one GeoJSON. So it's, I, I find that it's much easier just to go straight to the repository, download the GeoJSON, and then manually upload it, and then just keep that GeoJSON uh, stored locally on my drive. So if we just go and add this this way, there it is again. Let's say you're not a GIS person, you're not a cartographer, you don't want to deal with these map data files, so you just rather work in a classic program, something like Adobe Illustrator. Well, you can come back to this repository here, and there's a folder for SVG format. So SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, works in Adobe Illustrator, as well as a couple others. I don't know what the free programs are, probably. I think Inkscape might work with it as well. But if I just go click on the same file here, here we get a preview of it. I can go ahead and download this raw file. Now I'll go to my downloads, here it is, World 100 SVG. Open this up, by default it opens up in Adobe Illustrator. And there you go, here is our map in Adobe Illustrator, which is very cool because now I can save this out as an Adobe Illustrator file, which will work very well inside of Adobe After Effects. So I can get this map inside of Adobe After Effects and have all these different polygons as separate layers. However, we're gonna be stuck and limited to this particular projection, but we're not going the whole GIS route where you basically have to have the GeoLayers 3 plugin to bring in a GeoJSON file, for example. So very, very cool. I think what the repository is doing is they have, it's written in the description, they're basically using some kind of script to automatically convert the GeoJSONs to SVGs, and that's what all of these are here. So if you're just an Illustrator person who works natively in this program, this is great. Or if you're an After Effects person who wants to put together maps and you don't want to go the GeoLayers route, this is a great alternative for you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more. If you're a super hardcore map nerd in GeoLayers, for example, I have a GeoLayers 3 Masterclass available. I'll link to that in the video description. Also, I have a Patreon page where I go deep on GeoLayers as well. And be sure to check out all of my work on Felt's YouTube channel. I work for Felt full-time, creating content for their social media platforms. Go check it out. See you in the next one.